Hi guys, this video is to provide some clarification on how to use graphing software like Desmos to help you find the solution to an exponential equation. This relates to section 1.6, solving exponential equations. I've already changed around the materials inside so that the, the uh, first example given here actually walks you through the steps for using Desmos. You should definitely read through those, but I will cover uh, one of these practice questions for you. So. Uh, in order to find the answer to what value of x is going to make 2 to the power of x equal to 50 using graphing software, what we do is we graph y is equal to 2x and y is equal to 50 separately. So let's flip over to Desmos. Just go to desmos.com or to uh, get the app on your phone. And I'm going to enter in y equals 2 to the power of x. And if I want to do 2 to the power of, I can use the little uh, caret symbol. It's like a little hat. Shift 6 on most computers, or I can pull up this little menu here for the keyboard and see how it says A to the B. I click that, and then it moves it up into the exponent, and I can enter in X. I'll get rid of this. And separately, I'm going to enter in Y equals 50. Okay, so the next step is to adjust my window so I can actually see. So I can click on the wrench, and I can guesstimate, let's say... Uh, y, so I'm going to need to see at least up to y equals 50, right? So let's do between 0 and, I don't know, 70. And for the x's, I'm going to want to make sure I see the point of intersection, so I'm going to guess how many times do I have to multiply by 2 to get to 50. So it's definitely not going to be less than 0, so I don't need anything to the left of that. And, oh, well, look, there it is. 10 was more than enough. The alternative is you can just zoom out or zoom in, and you can drag the screen around too until you find it. So we can see where the two of them are actually intersecting, and if you click on either one, you can see this little grayed out dot appear. If you click on the grayed out dot, it actually reveals our answer. The answer to the equation is actually just the x value. The y value just confirms that it's equal to y equals 50. So 5.644 is in fact the solution to that system of equations. I'll do another one really fast so we can see it. So 100 times 0.75 to the x equals 5. So let's just clear this out. So 100 times 0 0.75 close bracket to the power of x. And the other part of the equation was 5. So I'll enter in y equals 5. And now I can't see it on the graph because if you notice my graph doesn't go low enough. So I'm just going to drag it around. Until I see the point of intersection, there it is. Click on either line, the green one or the purple one, and you'll see that the same gray point is highlighted. Click on it, and there it is, the x value that solves the equation. It's actually as simple as that. Okay, I hope you guys found this useful. Have a great day.